Welcome back to some Elden Ring gameplay and chat about this game, mate. It's been a minute since I've touched Elden Ring in a while. I want to talk about if it's still worth playing in 2024 and beyond. With the new DLC getting released soon, we do have so much to talk about in this video that I am excited to discuss. So, this game is has such a wide and wonderful map and it's so open you can literally go as far as you want straight away in the game and that's what excites me to want to play and explore this game that's the number one reason why i love this game it's also an introduction into the from soft world so we have the dark souls games we have bloodborne sekiro for example as well and Elden Ring. These are some of the main parts of this series. There's so many endless character builds. You can start out as a samurai and then become like a sorcerer, for example, if you really wanted to. Or you can do whatever. You could do archery, you could become a mage, you could become what I'm doing, which is dual wielding weapons and stuff like that. So you can kind of do whatever you want in this game. And that's what excites me. There's also a beautiful side of this game as well with the world to explore. Like right now we're heading into a battle. So I'm mad excited for this. As you go as well, you will learn new spells, new magic tricks, everything. So one of the most fun things about this game is just learning new skills along the way. And the battle mechanics in this game is mad fun as well. Like look at that, so much fun to do. You can lock on to opponents and just go for it, man. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is the main thing about this. Also, the bosses, man. Talking about these bosses, it's just so much mad fun. Alright, we, we need to do some dodging and diving over here, man. Alright, so every time you die, you have to recollect all your stuff. So I have to go back there and actually collect them. But look at this beautiful world, man. On the Xbox Series X, it looks absolutely incredible, some of these scenes. And we can explore anything and everything. I can go to that castle out there in the background. I can go to the trees. We've got major bosses. We've got dungeons. We've got so many awesome things to actually uncover in this game that I absolutely love. So... That's like one of my favorite things about this game is just uncovering all of these like brand new things that I've never seen before. And you find like so many interesting things along the way and even just collecting items. There's also messages on the ground as well. So yes, there's also DLC just getting released as well. So there are brand new elements to discover as well. So that's something also to be excited about and to make you want to play the game a little bit more in 2024 and beyond. The game looks fantastic and it has an amazing story. At first as well, like it's such a challenge. You're actually so scared to, to do anything, but at, at the end you sort of get so used to it that it doesn't bother you as much. You know what I mean? So one big part is just like death. And then when you come back to life, you have to like recollect your ruins again as well. So that's a massive part of it. But you do get some like crimson tear flasks and you can actually like upgrade them as you go. With the customization, once again, like you can easily like customize so many things as well. Customize different attributes and all sorts in this game. So it's mad fun. With the bosses as well, it will give you such a massive challenge in this game. Like it's unbelievable what you can do but it's also like people that can help you along the way with like certain bosses or there's like different swords or there's different elements that you can collect and different weapons you can collect or different spells you can learn along the way that actually help you a lot with different bosses as well so that's a mad plus as well other things like i've talked about is like death mechanics the awesome map as well like we could have a look at maybe this map if we can so the map is huge and it just keeps going and going and going so this is everything that i've uncovered so far and it just can keep growing and growing right so for example you got a complete different part of this so you start limb grave and we've even got you know 
a dragon in Limgrave, like straight away, or you've got like the side south side of this, you've got like mini island statue uncover as well. So with the brand new DLC coming out, there's gonna be a new extension of the map as well and brand new bosses and everything. It's just so crazy. So the bosses in this game are so hard and so challenging, so you really have to work for it, but it's almost like you feel relieved once you've actually like overcome the the bosses and everything like everything about it is just fun in terms of just overcoming these challenges and you got to learn how each boss works as well like everything has like an order of like how it works so you gotta really learn like your bosses how they work in a sense so like what moveset do they have and you got to really learn from it you know what i mean so that's a big fun part of this game so and each sword as well like has like a different thing so i've got a really powerful sword in the early game here so each sword has like different special abilities you can also dual wield different swords as well so that's mad fun as well so oh we got we got plenty of stuff going on over here all right we gotta do some dodging dodging is a massive part of this game as well man so all right, healing, massive part of this game as well. All right, these guys are absolutely killing me right now. So I've got to dodge out of the way. So yes, even like, like I've said, like some of these guys are a challenge as well, but you pick up some mad equipment along the way. Man, it's, it's a challenge, like some of these things, but mad fun. Whoa, what is going on here? So like I'm just showing you now, like I'm discovering brand new things. So mad fun about this game. You can't, you just can't get enough, man, about this, so... There's also the sneak attacks as well, like, that's a big thing as well. There is also dodging as well, so that's a fun mechanic as well in this game. Yeah, so, pick up a lot of items along the way. At first, 100%, this game will scare you because it's so hard and so challenging, but I promise you, after a minute, you get used to it. And then you just start having mad fun like this, man. You just start getting through, like, herds and stuff. And I promise you, you will have the time of your life, man. Even then, I've just died. But, you know, as you go, you'll get the hang of it. You'll definitely get the hang of it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I could talk about this game for another half an hour or hour. Man, there's just so much to talk about. Different boss designs, world design. Everything is amazing in this game. It's definitely still worth playing in 2024 and beyond. Thank you for watching.